สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Friday, June 7th, and I'm JP Mestanza. Today's top story deals with an airport taxi driver who ran over someone while on the job, killing them, and was still allowed to take tours in his taxi for over seven months after that. Police took their sweet time investigating. Kind of makes you wonder why. Let's get into it. 217 days. That's 217 days that police spent investigating a fatal traffic wipeout that took place on October 30th of last year, in which Marut Pramsongbat killed a motorbike driver, and from what we know, he was still allowed to work at the airport. 23-year-old Marut was taking a tourist to his hotel in his taxi back on October 30th in rush hour at 8 a.m. when police say he lost control and wiped out six cars and a motorbike, killing a 40-year-old man who worked at the hospital. The tourist in Marut's taxi escaped unhurt and he got in another cab to his destination. After the accident, the head of the investigation, Captain Supon Mwankai of Talang Police, he told the Phuket News, quote, the reason for the accident was that Marut was driving very fast, like other taxi drivers. He was not drunk at the time. He has been charged. But despite the accident, Marut was still free to continue working as a taxi driver at the airport during high season, no less, while the investigation, led by Captain Supon, was continuing. When the Phuket News asked the Phuket Land Transportation Office why Marut was allowed to continue working, the chief policy specialist told us they were powerless in taking action, saying, quote, the PLTO will revoke the taxi driver's license, but only after we conduct our own review of the incident, and that will not happen unless the court finds him guilty. Well, the case was not even sent to the court until June 4th of 2019. Keep in mind the accident happened on October 30th of 2018 and 217 days that Maru was allowed to continue to take tours from the airport to their hotel despite having killed a man on the road because of speeding, which is what the police are saying. It's unclear why they took their sweet, sweet time with the investigation. Let us know in the comments how you would feel if you knew the victim. A 19-year-old Phuket teen was unconscious and unresponsive following an accident at about 2 p.m. yesterday morning on Pra Phuket Keo Road in Katu. The incident saw 19-year-old Wacharapong Puntawa wipe out on his motorcycle as he was riding from Patong to Phuket Bus Terminal in Phuket Town, and he was said to have slid on the wet road and crashed heavily into the roadside gutter. Wacharapong was sent to Vashira Phuket Hospital in Phuket Town, and while there was no report of whether a helmet was found at the scene, we have yet to receive an update on his condition. As Thailand enters the era of medical marijuana, some have suggested looking into possibly using the cannabis that cops seize during drug busts, which is being held at the Office of the Narcotics Control Board, the ONCB. But only a handful of that cannabis will be handed over to the medical institutes. The Secretary General of the ONCB says that they currently hold 22 tons of seized cannabis, which came from drug busts in the past year or two, but only 7 kilos out of the entire 22 tons of that were found to be free of both pesticides and cadmium contamination, and that's the amount that will be sent to medical facilities. Yes, it turns out that, according to authorities, 18 tons of seized cannabis had high levels of pesticides and cadmium, while 2 tons had only cadmium. About 2.3 tons of cannabis will be distributed for research purposes this month. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Visit us in Patong or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Talks are now taking place to create a new network of, quote, blue flag hospitals that are private facilities known for providing medical services at reasonable prices. The Internal Trade Department is spearheading the talks as they're the state agency that, over the past year, They've been trying to compile a list of prices that private hospitals charge the patients for their services, drugs, and equipment to stem overcharging. The private hospitals nationwide have until July 12th to submit all of this information to the Internal Trade Department. The agency had previously said they will make part of the price list 
publicly available for patients to make an informed decision and have already made it a legal requirement for private hospitals to issue prescriptions that would be used at any drug dispensing facility, not just their hospital. The new potential network of blue flag hospitals would be the latest step in combating overcharging in the healthcare industry in Thailand and would be a list of 100 private hospitals known for charging reasonable prices. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Officials have warned of potential flooding and landslides in Talang after heavy rain fell on the area in the north of Phuket for 16 hours last night. Phuket Vice Governor Prakop said disaster officials received a notice from officials in Suratani warning about the possibility of flooding and landslides in the Tepkasatri district as 84 and a half millimeters of rain fell over 16 hours and people are being urged to be careful while driving in that area. Officials are now on 24 hour standby to assist in case of any accidents. And that's it for Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. And until Monday, stay classy, Phuket. Entries are almost sold out. Don't miss the chance to experience the leading destination marathon in Southeast Asia.